So welcome back. Um, this is my unboxing video of the Newfie Air 75 keyboard and case. So let me get rid of the box here. Here you have the politically incorrect uh, cover art for the Air 75 wireless mechanical keyboard by Newfie. I've come to uh, get interested in wireless mechanical keyboards. I think it's nice to have something different. This is the Vissels keyboard. Um, and you can see all the nice RGB colors there. I picked this up through Kickstarter about six months ago or maybe eight months ago. I wanted it because it's slim it's a nice match for my Magic Trackpad. I've got the space gray one. Apple doesn't make a uh, compact Magic Keyboard. They only have the one with the number pad, and it's just too big. I don't need the number pad. It's ridiculous. So this I picked up, I think it was about 120 bucks. I like it, though it tends to sleep a lot faster than... Uh, advertised maybe that has to do with my MacBook being a 2015 model so it's a little dated so maybe the Bluetooth is not as um, responsive in any case I wanted to check this one out I thought it looked really cool I like that you can change the keycaps out I purchased a keycap set that is going to be shipped this month I think in a week or maybe even in a few days I'm currently in Warsaw and I'm going back to California and that's where I'll be able to pick up the uh, the keycaps. But these are cool as well. I just, I'm not a huge fan of the white. But we'll see what it looks like in person. And like I mentioned, I also got this case. I thought it had a Cyberpunk 2077 vibe to it. It's a game I played a bit. Actually, I haven't played it that much, but I, I like the aesthetic more than, than anything. So here we already have this nice darker aesthetic. So we've got a little arrow here. I presume yeah, we're going to flip that. And here we have the keyboard, and it's nice and compact. I was thinking it might be a little bigger, but it's a nice size. And why don't we check this out right here. Like the colors, the turquoise on gray. And then here we have the braided USB-A to USB-C charging cable. We have the key cap puller. We have three switches blue brown and green or I'm sorry red they each have a different tactile feedback I went with blue I like the clickiness of the blue at least in my experience and a USB dongle of course this is Bluetooth wireless but this apparently is better I think for gaming I don't know for sure and then some uh, different keycaps which match Windows because this is customized for Mac so I believe option is the different one there the one th crucial thing for me in this keyboard is going to be whether I can make it work with my Mac in the way I want it to it'll work for most things out of the box I know it but what I do is I use the option key on the right side which is on the Vistles and the Magic Keyboard by Apple in order to um, do Polish characters like "ełm," which is an e with a little tail on the bottom, or "on" a with a little accent, "z," "z," and "z." Uh, and here we have it on this side. I could probably figure out how to do it that way, but I've gotten used to uh, pressing Option on this side and then the appropriate key as I'm typing. I think I can remap the command key, but we will see. So we can see how nice 
uh, this is. Let me compare it to the Vissels. So it looks like uh, the Vissels is thinner. I don't think it'll be a problem though. This is uh, still quite slim. And it's just something new. I mean, we have so much in our lives that's uh, digital and uh, software and, and whatnot, touch screens, you know, and here you have actual tactile feedback. I already feel that I, I really enjoy the, uh, the feeling there. Let me, so I'm just gonna type a little bit so you can hear what the blue keycaps sound like. So that'll give you an idea. Like I said, I'm getting another keycap set. Maybe I'll keep this one, but I like the other one. I think it had, from what I recall, it's a blue uh, keys for the main letters and numbers and then a few little additions so that it's more of an ocean vibe to it. So this is the Nufi Air 75 keyboard. I'll do, I'll charge it up and then I'll do a, a typing test and I'll tell you if, um, how, how I like it. It was, I bought it in Poland so the price was a little bit higher than usual, but it's about 130, dollars or so if you buy it online and i believe it's cheaper if you buy it through newfie's website so i'll put a link below and you can um, purchase it there if you so choose of course if you buy it through amazon or place like that it's it's easier to return amazon did have a deal for i believe 103.99 for this keyboard a few weeks ago that might just be for black friday so um you might not see that again but you could you could check it out and in that case, it would be worth it to buy it from Amazon to get the twenty or thirty dollar discount off of the uh, the new fee um, price. Check out newfee.com if you want to see some interesting mechanical keyboards. Uh, this one looks pretty cool. Um, it feels different than the Vissels. I really like the build quality of the Vissels. It has really a solid aluminum feel to it. This one feels a bit lighter, but. It'll take some time for me to uh, to have a full opinion on that. I can see that the bottom here is plastic, whereas the Vissels is all aluminum or aluminum, as uh, Johnny Ive says. So that's the Vissels. Do you have any questions? Do you have you used mechanical keyboards before? I've only just rarely, uh, recently started getting into them. The Vissels. From what I understand, is not a true mechanical keyboard. That you know, I I can't tell you all the details, but it's uh, it's in the ballpark. I also have a Keychron K1, which does have the Option key on the right, and I like the build quality and the slimness and everything. Although it has some more keys to the right here, I believe it has a number pad. I'll have to do a separate review on that one, or just compare the different keyboards all together. But I do like that one. I did have some connection issues with it for a while, and that's one thing that can be a discourage, discouraging for keyboards is that they're not always reliable. There can be problems depending on what your operating system is or what your needs are. And for that reason, Apple's Magic Keyboard has been rock-solid reliable for me. It's just too slim, and there isn't enough tactile feedback. So that's why I'm experimenting with mechanical keyboards. All right, if you have any questions, leave them in the comments below. Subscribe if you'd like to see more content like this and let me know what you think about mechanical keyboards. Do you like them? Do you uh, swear by them? Have you switched to a mechanical keyboard and you have your one go-to keyboard or do you, uh, do you rotate the keyboards? <laughs> and now I have about three uh, mechanical keyboards that I'm going to have in my rotation plus the Magic Keyboard. So I have plenty of options, but once I spend some time with this one, I'll let you know what I think, and we'll go from there. All right, Merry Christmas, Happy New Year, everyone. Talk to you guys later. Really quick, I forgot to mention the case. I really like the quality, or at least the initial feel of the case. Um, it, I'll 
sure how exactly I'm supposed to do all this, but there we go. There's the case, and apparently you can prop it up, and I'm not going to demonstrate it all right now, but you can prop up the case. Uh, you can put your tablet there, for example, and then you use the case. The case has these depressions for the feet, and I'll have to remove that too. So it pops in there and it's quite secure. And then you just close it up. And because, so it doesn't cover the sides here, it's open here, but because of those feet, it's not gonna fall out. So it's quite secure. So that's the new fee case for the Air 75 keyboard. Oh yeah, and there's stickers. <laughs>